Hi, my name is Alandra May Taplin. The main aim of this video is for me to show you how to reference a website using EndNote X6 and then also how to put the EndNote reference into a Word document. Step 1. Find out what information you need for referencing a website. For the purposes of this assessment, I will use the Murdoch University reference page. In Google, type in Murdoch University APA referencing. When you've done this, it will come up with Home APA Style Subject Guides at Murdoch University. Click on this. When you're on the page, click Reference List Entries. Down the bottom, it will say Internet Documents. Please click this. When you're on this page, it will say Format. Standard format for citation of internet documents. Now this is where you need to write down what information you need for a website. So it says here that you need an author, the year, a title, subtitle and edition, a publisher, and then you must write retrieve from source or supplier information and put the web address or internet address. We now have our information for citing a web address. So up the top in Google, type in MathCats. At the top it should say MathCats Fun Maths for Kids. We have found the title, MathCats Fun Maths for Kids. So make sure you write that down. Now let's look for the URL. The URL, the web address, is usually at the top, which is up here, and it says www.mathcats.com. Now all the other information is usually at the bottom of the page, so let's scroll down to the bottom of the page. It says down here, copyright 2000 to 2013. Here we have the year that it was published. It then says, by Wendy Petty. So here we have the author, so write that down and make sure you write it correctly because the referencing will pick it up. Of MathCats. So we've also found the publisher. This website does not have a subtitle or edition, but that's okay. Sometimes websites don't have everything and you've just got to use all the information that you can. This is EndNote. We need to make sure we have the correct referencing style. For the purposes of this assessment, we will click APA 6. Down the bottom, there is a little box with a list of different referencing. Click on APA 6. Now time to start the referencing. Up the top left, there's a square with a plus sign in it. Click on this. Then at the top of this page, it says journal article. But for the purposes of this assessment, we're doing a web page. So scroll down and find web page. The page now changed a bit, but we only need to fill in what Murdoch University told us to and what the website had. So first of all, remember to spell everything correctly. Let's put in the author. When, Wendy Petty. Now the year. 2000 to 2013. The title, Math Cats, Fun for Kids. The publisher, Math Cats. And if we scroll down, we'll find URL right at the bottom, which is the internet website. So www.mathcats.com. Now we've filled in all the information, we need to go up to the top of EndNote and press File, Save. Now we can now click off pressing the red cross and we now have a reference, Wendy Petty. Down the bottom where I've highlighted, this is the reference. Step 4, putting the EndNote reference into a Word document. Up the top of the Word document, it says Tools. Click on this. It then 
it says N note X6. Across from this, it says Find Citations. Click on Find Citations. Now, if we type in Math Cats, we've got two results here online, but they're both the same. So we'll click on this one and press Insert. It now comes up with two different references, a shorter one and a longer one. The shorter one is for incitation, which goes in the text. So we're going to copy and paste this, uh, copy and cut, and put it where it says citation here, and paste it in there. Down the bottom, it has Petty, Wendy, 2000 to 2013, Math Cats, Fun for Kids, from HTTP, www.mathcats.com. So now we have the outside reference, which is so the teachers can check where you've got your information from. Now remember, press File and press Save. If it doesn't just save, press save as. And remember to have a good title for it. And save. Thank you for listening and I hope I helped.